Hey everybody, welcome back to more of Let's Play King's Quest 2015. I actually had no idea that this stuff had already kind of released and was, you know, out. Um, yeah, that's part of the problem that, like, time just slipped away from me. But, I am excited to play it now. So, snow place like home. Your turn. Cram, wake up. How the hell do you sleep through that? <laughs> Pizza flavor jelly beans. I'm asleep, I'm asleep, I'm asleep. <laughs> so asleep, so asleep, so asleep. That's what happens when you roll a one on your bluff check. Stay asleep, love. I'll check on the twins. Oh god, please tell me I won't have to listen to that. Ouch! Sorry. Ow. Uh, <laughs> hey! What's up? What do you want me to do? What can I get you? Uh... Oh god, how about little Maraca things? Ow, oh, oh, dang it! No, not little Maraca things. What do you want me to do? What can I get you? Where's that pamphlet? Does your mind need stimulation? Are, are you hungry? Oh, 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 you smell like a circus. We should never have switched you over to Snoop Milk formula. Oh, you smell like rotten toenails and. <laughs> Wolfie? <laughs> uh. No, Zards! Zards. This fireplace is so cozy. Ha! <laughs> it's so comfortable. Sorry, children. Our room is getting pretty crowded with all this baby stuff. I don't seem to be able to pick shit up. Uh, are those just diapers? Cloth diapers. Every father's dream. And... Food? Organic snoot milk formula. Their palates can taste the difference, I'm told. Alright. First things first. Let's get you changed. Oh, you smell Oops. Like Ulfie's horn. Um. Tap, that's right. Sorry, as I remember the controls again. Can I not use. Cloth diaper on baby? No? Not your style? I I would like to use cloth diaper. Oh, All right. okay. I can do this. Are you sure you're not awake, Valenice? <laughs> you're right. I got this. Oh, we had to go with the cloth diapers. <laughs> All clean. How's it feel, bud? Oh, really? All right. Our room is getting pretty crowded. Oh, I didn't know if I had stuff. to put it in a bottle, maybe. Bottle's pretty cold. Yeah, I was about to say, do I have to take it to the fire and... It could be warmer. Without, like, scorching the baby. Perfect. <laughs> That's all we need to Please do. Stop crying. <laughs> there you go. Down the hatch. There we go. Just right. Oh god, now the other one's right, crying again? Time for a burpin. S, S, S. I guess this isn't like quick time. Or I should be like slamming the key. <laughs> uh, of course. I can't wait till you're older. And we'll shoot our bows and go on adventures and we will all sleep through the night. Twins are great, they said. 
Fun barrel of laughs, they said. Well, they never tried putting twins to sleep. I believe there was an old book on this. Uh, not old, but go the fuck to sleep. Here. Okay, Prince. I have an idea. No. I just have to walk around. I may be king, but you are my prince. If life gets too puzzling, I'll give you the hints. <laughs> Your quest has begun. My kingdom you'll run. I'll love you forever, my son. No. You are my arrow. I am your bow. Guiding your shot on the journeys we'll go. We'll make lots of puns. No puzzles undone. I'll love you forever, my son. That didn't need a bell! You're the treasure Sorry. on my map. The feather in my cap. And when my beard grows grayer and frail, you'll tell my tale. If you sleep soundly and try not to wake, Tomorrow I'll whip up a stack of pancakes. Choco chips by the ton. <laughs> we'll have so much fun. I'll love you forever, my son. No. No. Oi, do I have something in my teeth? Why? Got a hot date? I might. I haven't asked her yet. Is this about Royal Guard number three again? Don't bother. I asked her out this morning and she said I wasn't her type. <laughs> mm, perhaps she's after a more muscular build. Like yourself? <laughs> Please. You look like a walking circus tent. Well, at least I don't dress like an upside down lollipop. Your necklace is banal and trite. Your necklace is banal and trite. Well, you look like a trash can that swallowed a clown. I'd say you should be guarding a bridge, but that's offensive to the other trolls. I can hear every word, you know. I'm only six feet away. Zod, I thought she was royal guard number four. <laughs> Still heard that? <laughs> They do know they're both dressed in the exact same getup, right? Last year's model. Not everyone can keep up with the latest fashion trends like us, Larry. Up top. Boom. Wow. Is this Manon? Did you hear that? Hear what? Oh, he looks friendly. Huh. Back away, intruder. This is your last attack. <laughs> Distress! Great guards. But far enough. What? Why are they not charging him? Sheathe your swords, or die by them. Never! Not ever! Then, take your move. Lock in! That's pretty impressive. It's a lot of leg strength.
<gasps> Stay out of there! Come back and fight me, you coward! Larry! Well. <laughs> Raising these children will be our greatest adventure yet. I can't wait. Sweet dreams, love. He's got the voice of the, the small dude, but he just seems to have aged too much and looks way too different to stay as him. Get the babies. <laughs> I wouldn't make any sudden moves if I was you. Manny? No. Only my friends call me that. You can address me by my full name. Mananan. What happened to you? Let's just say my mind outgrew my body. What do you want with me? <laughs> oh, Graham. Why is it always about you? Stay away from them! Shh! You wouldn't want to wake them. Not when they're sleeping so soundly. Hey there, little guy. You look like you could use a friend. You're the spitting image of your father. We can't be having that. Didn't you hurt him? What do you want? I'll do anything. What I want is for your family to feel the pain you humans brought on me. To know what it's like to be raised in a world that rejected you. And your child, this baby, this, uh, what's his name? Alexander. <laughs> Alexander. No, that just won't do. It's too regal and uninspired. How about Gwydion? Sounds more like a slave name, doesn't it? If you want the crown, take it. Just leave our babies alone. Don't fool yourself. I could snap my fingers right now and drop all of you dead. But what fun would that be? It certainly wouldn't be very kingly of me. No, I want to earn that crown you stole from me, Graham, by proving that I'm better than you. And perhaps with a more thoughtful father, this child <coughs> would help Sorry. inspire change. <coughs> you can't. Oh God. Sorry. Don't worry. We'll be back one day to claim his birthright. And after our little Gwydion inherits the throne, he will better serve the needs of Daventry for all species. It won't work. I'll find you. Just try. Well. No. 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 Well, damn. We gathered a search party immediately. No one in Daventry would rest until Alexander was found. Alexander! Alexander! Son, can you hear my voice? Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> Bunny! Have you seen the prince? Where have you taken my son? Alexander! 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 Any sign? The first 24 hours are the most critical. We need to search. Everywhere. Contact everyone. The trolls. The Goblin King. Message V. Have her search in the east. Yes. Absolutely. If she would respond to my letters. What? Oh, never mind. 
We'll work that out later. I won't sleep until Alexander is back in our arms. I'll Here. reach out to Queen Madeline. Her squirrels can cover ground quickly. Good plan. We looked up every tree, down every goblin hole, hoping for a sign or clue from our son. I guess you're going that way. I'm I'm doubtful that they'll really bring the Mask of Eternity into this, but uh that is a game I was looking to play Son, again. Are you down there? I played it forever ago. But it was just the one that didn't fit in the series and uh, never really concluded it. Goblins, you better not have him down there for your sake. Um I I'm really really enjoying this as a as a wrap up. There. I tore through that bedroom looking for any sign of my son. gave up hope. It's time, dear. We've done all we can. Daventry needs you to get back to work. I'm not sure if I remember how. Come on, Dad. I'll help. Rosella had grown into a beautiful young lady. She was the perfect daughter. But it was hard for me to focus on anything knowing my family was incomplete. The Affordable Custard Initiative, <laughs> really? That's the important paperwork crucial to Daventry's future? I'd rather be out searching for my son. Come now, dear. A spoonful of custard is the only joy some people get in this life. We have to break out of this funk. What about a vacation? The holiday's coming, and I've always wanted to visit the place where you met Mom. We have to get through all this paperwork first. Do you want me to whip up some chocolate chip pancakes? Uh, that does sound good, actually. Perhaps for dinner. Oh, I know. Staring contest. <laughs> Those always cheer me up. Huh. I don't know. What's the matter? Afraid you might lose your undefeated record? What? Well, no, it's just... Too late! Davern Tree Decree P33 P3 R5 states that no one can deny a starring contest when challenged by the royal family. <laughs> I knew that decree would backfire. You're pretty brave challenging your father to a staring contest. Ooh, is I'm that not sure what the... Nope, I just have a smirky mouth. Has anyone seen my keys? <gasps> Staring contest. Woo! <laughs> I'm not sure. Smile. <laughs> this beard covers all smiles. You will never win. <laughs> <gasps> Have I ever told you? They call me Pockets, too. It's a family name. Oh, are your eyes getting heavy? No. Mm. No. P kinda. I assume I have to keep... Not funny. Okay, my eyes are really starting to hurt. Thinking on funny thoughts. Sardine smoothies. Frog Dog Fridays. Wolfie's itchy back. Okay, Missing Brad, son. You're slipping. You are not concentrating. Tickle flight. Oh, 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 cheater. Cheaters, both of you. <laughs> <gasps> Alexander? Uh, actually, my name is Gwydion. What? <laughs> Hi!
Oh, timer went, but we'll uh, we'll wait till I get in control again. Just right from the heart, dear. Uh, I'm just having trouble seeing the point of all this. The words aren't coming. Oh, Graham. Since when have you had trouble finding words? Perhaps some popcorn-flavored jelly beans would help spark your imagination? Sorry, love. But I just don't have much of an appetite, not even for popcorn-flavored jelly beans. It was worth a shot. Come on, let's bust out of here. Would you rather be on an adventure? We could take that trip to Kalima we've been talking about. That does sound lovely, but every moment with you is all the adventure I could ever hope for. It's best to take care of these things now. Oh. Uh, the doctors were pretty clear about that. That's brutal. It's time we tell the children. All right. You called for me? Yes. Your grandfather and I have something we would like to tell you. You should probably take a seat. Ah, oh, follow me. I... Uh, uh, um, hold on. Let me gather my thoughts. You know that I have had many great and fulfilling adventures. But there comes a time in every king's life when he must... When he must... There comes a time when every king must hand over his tasks to a worthy successor. And that's why I am giving you the very important job of filing this letter with the official court of amendments to addendums. I need some changes enacted immediately. Hmm. Was that all? Yes. The changes outlined in the letter are critical to the well-being of Daventry. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So, oh, man. And which addendum should this be filed under? Why, the number is on the front, of course. Addendum 48677. I see. Farewell, Grandpa. I do hope you feel better. What are you so bitchy about? Hey! Gar... Why haven't you been talking to me? What did I do? Have a seat. Your grandma and I have something to tell you. Not even sure a story could cheer me up. What's the matter, sweetheart? It's Gart. He hasn't said one word to me for three days. He lost in our game of wits, but I don't think that's what's bothering him. He's just been so cold and distant lately. I'm sure whatever it is will pass. Bonds of a strong family like ours are not easily broken. Actually, that does remind me of a story, one I have not thought about in a while. And interestingly enough... Go ahead. Interestingly enough, it's about your father. We were in the middle of a very cold winter, and 
Alexander was having a hard time adjusting to the life of a warrior. So we decided the best thing for everybody was to take a family vacation to Avalon. Oh, the spot where you fell in love with Grandma. Yes, and the weather was much sunnier there this time of year. It would be a great opportunity to get to know my son. I had a thousand questions about how he escaped Mananan, but I didn't want to bombard him all at once. So, son, I thought perhaps we'd make a little detour so I could share one of my favorite spots. Sounds good to me. I do have one tiny request, though. Anything for my Alexander? Yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> it's that name. Uh, you don't want to be called Gwydion. Do you? Oh, no, no, no. It, it's just, I figured since I have to learn a new name anyway, why not pick something with a little more spark in it? You know, something with a little mystery? Something like, I don't know, Caduceus the Magnificent. Yeah, I, I always love that name. <laughs> um, you actually want to be called Caduceus? I mean, it's just a thought. More like a dream. Well, it's not a very princely name, but w we can talk about it. R really? Now, what to show you first? All right, folks. Well, this looks like a pretty good place to quit. So, as always, thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, everybody.